Hello and welcome to another episode of Topical Rainforest, the show where we randomly generate three topics, pick one, and then talk about it. Uh, I am Sean, and with me today is Brother Scott. Brother Sean, how are you, Brother Sean? So I have to call him Brother Scott because our other Scott is, uh, uh, there's another Scott and probably okay, Scott McElroy. So every time I say Scott, people are like, which one are you talking about? So Brother, I have to say bros, bros or Bro Scott. Bro Scott. Or Scotch. Yeah, Scotch. Or Scorch. Scorch. Yeah, those are all my nicknames for yep. Scott. So, uh, how are you doing today, Scott? Doing pretty good. Yeah? Are you excited to be on an episode of Topical Rainforest? I had to ask to get on the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I could have sworn that Scott had been on, but it, it was, no, it was Peter and Eric had been on, but Scott hadn't been on yet. I had to pull some strings. Yeah, he pulled some strings. And now he's on, so it's pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah. It's, All right, it's so... It's not as exciting as I thought, but... Well, yeah, we're just <laughs> sitting in my office with this crappy snowball mic. It's pretty good, though. Scott, are you ready to go into I am the so topical ready. rainforest? Okay, uh, this week we're going into the ice version of the topical rainforest. Pring, 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 it's, ice! It's the ice, it's the sci-fi ice version. It's just wah, like a normal wah, rainforest, wah. but the trees are made of ice. <laughs> And instead of dirt, it's snow. Oh. And the monkeys are snow monkeys. Oh. And the tigers are snow tigers. Oh. Are you, you put on your earmuffs and your ear. I see what you did there. <laughs> okay, we're going oh. into the topical rainforest snow edition. Ice. Okay, so we're here. We're in the topical rainforest. It's cold. It's very cold, but that's okay. Woo. And we're going to, do you want, Scott, do you want to generate our first random topic? Sh sure. All right, push I'll, the button. I'll click on it. All right, go. <laughs> Food regulation. Oh, That's man. That's the topic. Food regulation. Food regulation. Uh, should food be regulated? Uh... Yeah, I think. Um, well, but we, 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 that's one topic. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we I have a lot. To, I have yet. a lot to say. About okay. That. Next. Food regulation. All right, I'm gonna push the button again. You ready? Ooh, nervousness. What Feeling makes? nervous. What okay. makes you nervous? Okay. That's an interesting one. Mm-hmm. You know, in many ways, I think that's way more universal than food regulation. Um, but I don't know. We gotta we gotta yeah, generate okay. three. And, all right, oh, oh, ready? All right, click pull it. the lever. Phone apps. Phone apps. Uh, what phone apps do you like to use? What are your favorite? All right, so the three topics are food regulation, nervousness, and phone apps. <laughs> this mm. is probably one of the worst, mm. <laughs> the worst set of, of topics we've ever generated. Um, yeah. Well, I think food should be, it should be regular. I think you should eat food every, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I'm all for food regulation. Having a, you know, oh, eating. Oh, regulating. Oh, we could do it that way. Should you eat food on a regular? Yeah. Should you regulate your mm -hmm. intake? I regular think intakes? The topic probably means more like the government. Oh, oh like the FDA. Oh, the FDA. Okay. Oh. The federal uh, dural of uh, addication or something, yep, whatever yep. that is. Um, nervousness. So, like, okay. you know, that's a good one. So, what are you thinking? You thinking nerves? You thinking uh, food regulation? Well, let's you thinking just go apps? with the uh, fourth topic here. No, no, don't do it. <laughs> oh no! Scott, oh, what did I do? Oh can't... no! I clicked the button. Scott, the whole point uh, of this podcast. Oh is no! We we gener randomly generate three topics and uh, then choose one. You just generated a fourth topic. Oh no! This I, this has not been done before. I um, I think maybe the podcast will be over after this episode because I oh, think no. you fundamentally. I think the machine is broken. I think I broke it. Wait, what, what does this? it say though? It's some cryptic language. Oh. Wait, hold on. What are some books you've been reading? I guess that wasn't very. That wasn't yeah. that cryptic. I yeah. should check my uh, so my I don't, description. All right, so we got four topics. Scott has uh, brought a new wrinkle nope, to the podcast. Let's just do another topic. No, no, no. Don't <laughs> leave, leave, leave. <laughs> Oh, who's the first band you were really into? This okay. is our fifth topic. <laughs> Scott, we can't do this. We have to pick one. 
One more. No, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. How fast can you read? No, not no. good enough. <laughs> Next one. No. Uh, how do you describe yourself to others? All right, Ina, this okay. is madness. No, no, no. Okay. We have to pick. Okay. 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 So we will add the fourth one, but I, I refuse to add the other okay. ones. So we, we, That's yeah, fair. We, have, we have nervousness. That's fair. We've got books. We've got FDA. FD, oh, apps. apps. Phone apps. Oh, phone apps. I don't know, dude. I'm, I think I'm going to say nerve, nervousness. Let's do it. I think nerve. What? Okay, that's my vote. What's your vote? There's only two of us, so we, <laughs> that's, that's another problem. We're supposed to have at least three guests, so we have a tiebreaker. Um, you know what? I'm a peacekeeper, so let's go with nervousness. Okay. Okay, so we've picked nervousness. Nervousness. Or nerves. Okay. Or nerve gas. Or what gas. is nerve gas? <laughs> or farts. <laughs> Or do you, do you fart when you're nervous? Actually, yes. Uh, okay. Um, when I was younger, every time there would be a thunderstorm, <laughs> I would fart. There'd be a thunderstorm in your pants. No, well, no, oh. but no, I would literally get bad gas oh. when there's thunderstorms because mm. I was nervous and somehow it affected my digestion. I don't mm. know. Uh, especially when I thought it was tornadoes. Mm-hmm. I get really nervous about that. I get really gassy when <laughs> wait we're not talking about gas we're talking about nerves right yeah, yeah. um i get i get um uh, let's see interviews I you get, get nervous, nervous for yeah. interviews yeah yeah um i'm gonna push it again oh no, no! <laughs> whoa what technology from a science fiction movie would you like to have Let's just do that one. <laughs> oh, let's do it. That's a good one. That's our seventh That's topic a good of the one. day. Okay. We abandoned nervousness. So basically, Scott's nervous about job interviews. I get nervous with with uh, with thunderstorms and tornadoes. That wraps it up. And yeah. it makes me fart. Okay. S- technology from science fiction movies okay. that you would like. All right. Let's just call this the topical rainforest bonanza. Oh! Oh, bonanza. Because there's more than like three. A, like a monkey. Yeah. Yeah. Our 10th or 12th or whatever topic that we have now decided this is the one we're going to do, Scott. Yes. We're not going to push the button again or pull the I feel good about this okay. one. Yep. Technology from science fiction movies that you would like to have. Okay. What do you think? I'm thinking, I mean, the classic is flying cars. Everyone's like, where's my flying car? Mm, mm-hmm. Meanwhile, we do have d- little drones mm-hmm. that are pretty cool. And they yep. did, did you see they made uh, a drone that you can sit and fly around in? Oh, no. It's that. a thing. Um, you just have to get a lot of like, there's a lot of regulation around it yeah. and stuff. Um, you have, probably have to have a driver's license. I oh, think. I, I bet you have to get a, a pilot's license to use uh, it. Oh, yeah. But okay. it's basically just a ton of batteries and you have to be kind of light. You can't be like super overweight. Ah, uh, yeah. But no, it's real. It's people oh. fly around it. It's just imagine a drone, mm-hmm. those little drones, but yep. then it's much bigger and there's a seat in the middle. You sit in it. You sit in okay. it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So technically, we do have flying cars. So. Okay. So scratch that off. Then. Yeah. Um, uh, we do have iPads. Spaceships. We kind of we, we have spaceships. We have spaceships. Yeah. Yeah. Laser. We have lasers. We do have lasers. Yeah. Um. um robot. Yeah, we have a lot. We have robots. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, like a way to a way to just like um, pay for something with like no cash. Oh, we got that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that. that's Apple oh, Pay and. The, oh yeah, we got that. Um, yeah. What about like? Um, what about? Oh, you know in the, those movies where yeah. like Spy Kids mm-hmm. when they go they go up to this machine and they like want a drink. Yeah, like, yeah. And you just press a button and you and like, drink instantly have a hot coffee. Or, or like a that, that was invented in like the fifties. Like a hot chocolate. Yeah, the like hot. You know how you hot to, drink vending machines have been around for like. You know how now you have, to, you have to get like a pack out and open it. And yeah. Boil the water. Oh, yeah. So such a pain. Okay, I will we say that. Okay. I, the Matrix would be cool. Okay. The real, but not the. Uh, I would say a Matrix that's not powered by th- billions of hum- of human bodies. Okay. A matrix that's powered by solar power or ray- nuclear power. I don't mm. want the human part, the slavery part. I don't mm. want people enslaved. But like the matrix, but where you know you're in it and you can just go in there and have fun. Yeah, okay. Because what I would do is I would like, I would go and just basically like just be a, a warrior, a samurai and fight everyone. Yeah, and you could like put on these goggles. Yeah. Like strap it to your face. Oh. And be in your Wait room. A se- Wait a second. <laughs> Oh no! Look, hear me out. We already have hear the me matrix. Out. It's like a TV, but yeah. you put it on your face. Yeah, Scott, that already and exists. You could... It's called VR. 
Oh man. See, I yeah, okay. VR, VR. I've tried VR and it's mm. it's dumb. Like it hurts my face. I'm here talking. Here we go. Here we go. You plug your time brain travel. in. Time travel. Time travel. Time travel. I don't see. I feel. I feel like time travel is really dangerous. Like, but you could only go forward. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Would that fix it? Forward in time. You but could only go forward in time. I guess. Yeah, because the future hasn't been written yet, so you're yeah, just yeah. going forward. See that fi- that fixes all the problems. All the problems of time travel. You can only go forward. Yeah. Do you age? Uh, do, does it? Do you go forward in real time, or do you have to go forward? Because <laughs> that would be funny if someone invented a time machine, <laughs> oh, and sucks. it's just like, okay, get in this box. Oh, I want to go in a to, year. You'll be a, a year ahead. I want to go to a thousand years, and then you're just a. You're just a skeleton. skeleton. Yeah. Yep. No, no, but I was thinking like you wanted to travel to a year ahead, oh, and okay. so you have to wait in room for a year. You'd make sure you have to toggle that switch. Yeah, you toggle the switch. Yeah, there's and a lot of And then the door options. locks, and it's locked for a year. Oh, man. <laughs> but you get to watch movies, and like there's food and everything. Oh, so you're awake the whole time. Yeah, you're awake. like a cryo chair. Yeah, like, you're awake. Not like a Han Solo And thing. you're, you can Skype with me. You can like Zoom <laughs> with know. people and you can leave the time machine and go hang out with oh, people man. if you want. It's basically just a prison. No, you... because you can come and go as you please too. Okay. So it's like your house kind of. Okay. It's basically just your house yeah. and your life. Okay. But it's a time machine too. Hmm. That would be But you have cool. to sit like actual time. Yeah, you can't. You don't get to jump ahead faster. So if you want it to be 20... If it's 2016, you want it to be 2017. You just you have, have to, to wait, wait 365 days, right? I guess we all have time machines then. We do. We're all... All wait. our... Yeah. Yeah. The world wow. The world is a time machine. Wow. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's But, good. like, <laughs> science fiction technology that we want... See, I wouldn't want a lightsaber. Okay. Would you want a lightsaber? Yes. Because I feel like I would... A lightsaber is too dangerous. You'd cut your arm off or whatever. You could. See, I would like a, a, a lightsaber that it's powerful, but it's not powerful enough to cut off limbs. Mm. So it's more like a stun baton that we, but we have that already. It's like an electrified baton mm. and you hit people and it zaps them. <laughs> okay. Like a taser <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mallet. <laughs> well, we already kind of have, yeah. we have stun batons, so. Um. But that's what I'd want, so I guess we have it already. Yeah. Um, self-driving cars. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, computer, uh, po- pocket computers. Got it. Got it. Uh, video, video phones. Uh-huh. Got it. Yeah. Robot dinosaurs would be cool. I mean. That you we, can ride on. I mean, they probably have those in Japan. Well, they do, but they're not. For, right. No, I'm talking like an actual, like, robot. It's like an mm, actual robot dinosaur, fully okay. functioning, runs okay. around. Like a T-Rex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, so when I was a kid, it was really stupid. My friend Jimmy Burdett and I, our favorite game for a while was called Dino Wars. <laughs> and we were all dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. So you played a dinosaur. I don't know how old we are, but this is the dumbest game we came up. So mm-hmm. we were all different dinosaurs, and we were fighting other dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. And uh, for some reason, I thought that my name should be called Robochip. I was Robo Chip the dinosaur. Okay. So I was like a raptor, but I had like robot parts hmm. too. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think Jimmy was a T Rex. I forget mm. what he called himself. But we'd basically just run around and, and pretend we were dinosaurs and fight other dinosaurs. So That's like cool. that, That's but instead, cool. I'm riding the dinosaur. I'm not a dinosaur. Mm. What was the uh, What was the dinosaur game that we played on the map? Uh, Nanosaur. Nanosaur. And yeah. if you climb up on the volcano and jump and get on top of a pterodactyl, yeah, and you go up and uh-huh. you get the nuke gun. You Remember do. That? Yeah, you get like a special yeah. power up. That, that was, was pretty, pretty cool. cool. I'm pretty sure my dino chip thing was before that though. Mm, okay. Because I would that would and I would have been too Torok, old. Torok dinosaur hunter. See, yeah, uh, I may have seen stuff yeah. for that when I was a kid and, and been inspired. Too. Yeah. But it was too, Turok was too, Turok was rated M because you like knifed people yeah. and stuff. Yeah, there's some blood too. Yeah. yeah. The cool thing about Turok though was mm. the graphics were so bad that they had this mist thing mm. where you could only see a couple feet ahead oh, of yeah, you. Oh yeah, yeah, the fog. And I liked that because it made it feel more mysterious. It makes the world feel bigger. As a kid, I felt like this is this magical place. In mm. reality, it was this very limited 3D world mm-hmm. that was very small. Yeah. But... It felt there's something about those early pixel pixelated 3D games that mm-hmm. felt bigger and more real yep. than modern games that are look really good. Yeah, 
because it felt like this is a real world and this kind of emptiness to it was mm-hmm. like really yeah interesting so what's some technology you would want i i said robot dinosaur robot dinosaur let's see i would love a technology where i could compose music mm-hmm. um just mentally mentally and it would it would translate to so you're just like dun 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 well i can think dun 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 yes yep and then it just like transcribes it and prints it out no 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 it actually oh it actually records it records it so it takes but it has like all the all the instruments everything like i'm talking multi-track and there's like boom 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 yeah the timpanis and like this it's all in there yeah it's everything Wow, and yeah. in your so when so you, here, here okay. Think about it this way. Yeah, what's your favorite Lincoln Park song? Uh, I tried so hard that song. No, I think I like the one where he's like, "I don't know how to drive a car, <laughs> so I can park this freaking car." I tried so hard to park <laughs> the car. It's Abraham Lincoln, and he's all goth because he tried to park Lincoln. Yeah. He was Lincoln, and he tried to park, but he couldn't oh, park. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so... That's my favorite Lincoln Park song. Anyways. Where Abraham Lincoln tries to park a car, yeah. a Buick, and he doesn't know how. But, and he's like, oh, fiddlesticks and heck. Yeah. And he crashes the car. <laughs> but the benefit is, yeah. let's say Spotify goes uh-huh. away, YouTube, yeah. iTunes. Mm-hmm. I think it's called Music Now. All yeah, the, I hate that. It's all gone. Right? But you, you can think about the songs. Yeah. And then it translates into like a a, a wave file and then you can actually oh. listen to it. It might not be exactly like, like the the pure gold Lincoln Park, but it's yeah. might be fool's gold version, you know. Apple has is so terrible now. They're uh speaking of Apple, yeah, they're uh Apple's terrible. Their podcast app, literally podcasts that are uploaded to it get garbled. So I was listening to a podcast today, and about halfway through, it just jumped back ten minutes. Oh no! And then it played. It jumped back like four minutes. Played those four minutes, and then jumped ahead hmm. eight minutes. So I like lost four minutes of the pot. And I looked it up. Apparently, it's just a common problem that Apple has, and they just won't fix it. It's fix, ridiculous. Fix it, Apple. Fix it, Apple. Fix it. Fix, fix it. Fix it, Steve Jobs. S- Steve. Sean. Hey, Steve. Steve wait. Steve. Don't disrespect Steve. <laughs> I'm not disrespecting. I'm telling him to fix it, Steve Jobs. He's, Sean, he's dead. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think you're Steve wrong. Steve Jobs is dead. No, I don't think he's dead. I think you're wrong, Scott. What, I think he's still alive. What? All right. If you oh, about, oh. Start about Steve Jobs. I thought it was 2004 still. Oh, oh, no, no, no Sean, 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 mistake. Sean, Sean. I always think it's 2004. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Talk about time travel. Yeah, I was like, ooh, Linkin Park. That's oh, yeah. fresh music. That is fresh. And then you're telling me about this video phone. I'm like, what the crap is that? Oh, yeah, no. But I do really like Abraham oh. Lincoln Park. <laughs> that should be probably okay. Abraham, Abraham Lincoln crashes a car, <laughs> and then he's like, I trust so hard. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln Park. <laughs> if anything um, good comes from this this podcast, that Park. would be it. Yeah, it's Abraham Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. I think yeah. that'll be what this will be called. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Okay. So that technology is, I like that. Yep. Would, now, would you be able to, would you do like really horrible, horrific brain surgery with all sorts of diodes in your head to make it happen? Um, that'll be the early, the early version oh, you'll of let, it. You'll let other people yeah. test it. Yeah. So that's yeah, the thing. Like the all pro- this, all the brain technology involves yeah, surgery, that's brain thing. surgery. That's I don't, I don't want electronics in my head. Well, we start with monkeys and yeah, and monkey music. Oh man, you don't want to, you don't want to hear monkey music. <laughs> it's just like all smooth jazz. <laughs> it's like we yeah. hooked monkeys up to the monkey music machine. It's just yeah. like... Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. But it's all atonal. Yeah. It's all it's a mess. Yeah, yeah. They're really into uh, bongos, a- avant-garde jazz. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And all of their albums are just called Banana One, <laughs> Banana Two, yes, yes. and the songs are all like, like "My Banana," or like "I Ate a Banana," yeah. and then every once in a while there's just one like, "My Nose Is Sticky." <laughs> yeah, 
My nostrils are sticky. Poop fling number five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's all just atonal. Yes. So you're saying if monkeys wrote music with their brains, it would just be all like. And the monkeys are just like. They're like. They're all just like really. They're really into it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. totally. I think I just blew. Hey Scott, you blew out my mic, Scott. Sorry. You ruined it. You ruined it. You'll have to clip that down. Yeah, I'll have to clip it. Um. Yeah. So. So what are you nervous about? I really am nervous about. The elections. I'm really nervous about the elections. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. nervous about uh, weather. I told you. With the, weather? Yeah. Okay. No. I'm not really nervous about the elections because I know I know we'll win. We'll win next time. Yeah. Next time. The left will win. No, 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 no. The right will win. Don't tell the left. I said that. The writer is going to win next time. Don't tell anyone. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, time goes really slow when you're. Yeah, it's when a thirty-minute podcast. When you're having a and fun I feel like, time. Yeah, I feel like. Well, we could trim it down, and make it a ten-minute podcast. No, no, <laughs> it's got to be thirty minutes. So we got to make a bunch okay. of a bunch of credit okay. for another six, seven well, minutes. We can we can cut this out. Let's yeah. See. Um. Hmm. So other technology. What are some other technology from movies? Uh, I lightsaber is no good. We just find that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think spaceships that can go the speed of light would be cool because yeah. then we could explore all the galaxy. That'd be cool. And I think what we'd find is that it's not. It's really cool, but there's not. There's nothing like we can. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll say this: if we had speed of light technology, we could at least get materials from mm-hmm. other planets. Because okay. right now, we know that there's metals and stuff mm-hmm. that we could use on other planets. But our technology is so limited, we can't get there. Yeah. So if we had speed of light travel, we'd be able to go, or hyperspace more like. That's what I'm talking about, like faster than the speed of light, jumping through hyperspace. You know, funnily enough... Chewie, hit the hyperspace. You know what's funny? I'm reading this book called by Isaac Asimov called Foundation. Hmm. And they just go to, in the beginning of the book, they go into hyperspace. It says, oh, really? and they jumped into hyperspace, Oh wow! which was this They're weird dumb. blue flickery space between space. And I'm like, oh, George Lucas just Did stole just it. Take that? He just yeah. stole it. And also they described the distances between planets as parsecs. Oh, there you go. That's and where they, you got it. They, they call their guns blasters. Okay. So wow. George Lucas stole a bunch of stuff. He, he took some of that stuff. Yeah. Technology from movies. Science fiction movies. Now, if a monkey... Yeah, wrote just, atonal music. No, no. If a monkey... If you were a monkey, yeah. what technology would you want? Um, banana opening <laughs> technology. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they want. They don't want fire. They're like... Mon- the monkey people, it's Planet of the Apes, and all the apes have come. And they're like, what do you want from us, apes? And Caesar's like, banana. <laughs> that's all he wants. I know that's super monkey racist. <laughs> like, it's being super racist towards monkeys. Speciesist. They don't all want bananas, but it's funny to think they do. Yeah. But that would be funny if Planet of the Apes, it turns out all the monkeys, <laughs> just, all the apes want are just bananas. Yeah, unlimited bananas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. And they think King Kong, they think Donkey Kong is real. Yes, yeah. And they're like, where is Donkey Kong? Yes. We must speak to him. Yeah. And the humans are like, ah, oh, he's just a computer game character. No, that's they're like, no, yeah. Donkey Kong. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's my, that was, that would be my version. Yeah. So uh, Disney, I know you own Planet of the Apes now and you're going to reboot it yet again. So that's my idea. They just want bananas and to meet donkey kong that's good so if you want to hire me to write the script just give me an email that's good email is a pretty good science fiction technology yeah digital letters yeah what when they used to call it snail mail now does the e stand for excessive or electronic what was that it's electronic mail yeah because i get i have like four thousand emails 
Is, that's Wait, excessive. Do you get Trump emails? I get a lot of. I used to get like twenty Trump emails a day, and then I blocked all of the senders because I'm like, okay, I know Trump. I know you want money because the country is under attack from evil progressives. It's like that's fine. I don't need to get that email twenty times a day. I just get a lot of banana ads from MailChimp. (laughs) (laughs) Monkey humor is so good. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Sign up for MailChimp. What if MailChimp is just just run by chimps? Yeah. (laughs) You just get a lot of banana ads. And it's like they start charging, and instead of charging charging, uh, for, what do you call it? Instead of charging uh, money... Like you, you get you sign up for Mailchimp, and then you just get an email, and it's just like, it's like a picture of a bananas, and then like scratch marks in the amount of bananas. <laughs> You're like, what? And you email back, and then it emails back, and it's just like another picture of bananas, yeah. and more. Scr- it's like, oh, you need, you want twenty five bananas, so then yeah, you go buy then, the bananas, and then you mail them to the Mailchimp address. Yeah, and and then at the bottom of the email it says, "Click here to unsubscribe." <laughs> You click on the link, and it takes you to a page, and it says, please let us know why you'd like to subscribe. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. And then you you write, you know, please stop sending, or you click other, and you click please stop, and then you click submit, and it says, I'm sorry, (laughs) you can't unsubscribe at this time. Our server is down. Please call this number. So you call the 800 number, and it's like... You're like, please, I need to unsubscribe. And, like, and the monkeys are trying to say in their monkey language, just make Marcus a spam, Marcus a spam. <laughs> but it sounds like they just want, they're just yeah. saying, they're just they're screeching. They're trying to be helpful. They're trying to be yeah, helpful. That's, that's good. That would be funny, though, if, if there was a, a resource that you had that was run by intelligent monkeys <laughs> and you paid by just mailing fruit and bananas <laughs> in a box. <laughs> Like that's good. You know their email service is really great. Mm-hmm. Who knows? They just had a bunch of typewriters. Yeah. And they had enough time, and they yep. created this whole email. They had client. a time machine. Yeah. To, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I hope. Just are you chilly? Time, just jump in the time machine. Are you chilly from being in the Arctic oh, version? Yeah, it's been cold. I'm gonna make the graphic all blue and chilly, because we were in the the Arctic rainforest. Instead of rain, it snows. Yeah. Instead of water, it's ice. Yeah. It's like the snow level in video games. Oh yeah. And there's blue bananas. And the music everywhere. is like is like vaguely like um nor uh vaguely like uh Germanic like because mm-hmm. you're like in the snow. Yeah. You've been listening to Topical Rainforest. I have been Sean Anderson. And I have been Brother Scott. And uh, next up, we're going to talk about why the queen is so evil and racist. Uh, Sean, the queen died. Uh, No, I'm pretty sure she's still alive. Sean, what year is it? And what month Uh, is it? It's October 31st, 2004. No. Ah, gee, that's my dang time machine again.